Hi, Lynn. Sorry it was so busy yesterday. Uh, Saturday's the busiest day of the week, but I appreciate the opportunity to answer this question for you. Let's see how flat the backs of these Subarus get. We're in the showroom here using our golf announcer voice. This is a Crosstrek, which is the exact same dimensions internally as an Impreza. So this would work for the Crosstrek or the Impreza. We'll start with the back hatch. These are the smallest of our hatchbacks. So since it's a new car, it's got all the plastic wrapped stuff. It makes it hard to see dimensions. So we'll pull it out and I'll take a look at this from the side for you. As you can see, there's a little bit of a dip here. That's about, maybe about a half inch, three quarters of an inch from here to here. So that is your view of the Crosstrek and the Impreza. We're gonna stroll over here across the control room, take a look at the Subaru Forester. This one has the uh, Thule uh, box on the top. Let's take a look in the back here for starters. More plastic. So I've previously removed this bar that goes across to cover the luggage behind the rear seat. This is a Subaru Forester. Another little bit of an elevation there. Similar to the Crosstrek, maybe a little more. It's a bigger car. If it was flat, this would be up here like this. So there's the back of a Subaru Forester. Now we're gonna go outside and take a look at the Outback. So here we are out in front of the store. I don't have to talk in my golf announcer voice. And this is the longest and the biggest cargo capacity of the Subaru line so far, a Subaru Outback. And you know what, Lynn? This is the only store I've ever worked at where customers come in and ask if they can lay down in the back of our cars. So I want to thank you again for asking this question. So here's a nice view from the back of a 2018 Subaru Impreza with the seats down. There is virtually a flat space there. I mean, there's an incline, an incline overall, but there's not a bump right here. And for car camping, this is usually the choice, but I don't know if that was the genesis of your question. So if you look right here, I mean, it's, it's flat. It inclines a little, just but not a bump. So I hope that answers your questions about the flatness of the back of Subarus in January of 2018. Thank you.